Hello, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you haven't joined me before, I'm Lindsay. I am a mum of two little girls. We're a two mum family. We've got two little girls, Violet, who's just turned two and a half, and Pearl, who is a year old. And this video today is going to be all about cloth nappies. So, first things first is that I will tell you my story and that is that I am not an expert in cloth nappies at all. So this is a complete beginner's video. I've been doing cloth nappies only part time. This is a straight up disclosure. I do use disposable still for certain things, night times, days out, things like that, but I'm working on it. But I wanted to do this video so early on in our journey to show people that switching to cloth nappies is not actually as scary as you think. So my story is that I, I've got two little girls and Violet, who's my oldest, I planned to cloth nappy from birth. And before she was born, I had a whole drawer full of secondhand cloth nappies that I bought, all lined up, all of the equipment and everything. And when she was born, they handed me this tiny baby and I'd never changed a nappy ever before. So when I changed her nappy for the first time, it was my first ever nappy change. And I just found like adjusting to motherhood was really, really hard. So I didn't ever get around to using the cloth nappies. It played on my mind and obviously I have my little neat drawer that I'd set up. And every time I went to use one, I just felt like I wasn't ready and I would use another disposable. And I'll just hold my hands up and say I didn't use any cloth nappies for Violet. And she's now potty trained. So you know, I wish, looking back, that I could go back and change and do cloth nappies if I'd have known how easy it was. But what put me off cloth nappies is that it is just so, so daunting to start out. And it feels like everyone that does cloth nappies, even though they are super lovely and super, super helpful, but it's like, almost like a secret club and they talk in terminology that you don't really understand, you don't know where to start, and you kind of feel like once you've used one cloth nappy, there's no turning back, like you have to use full-time cloth nappies or else like, that's it, like, you know, you're a bad cloth nappy person. So I really wanted to film this video to say that as soon as I realized that you don't have to use cloth nappies all the time. You can just use them now and again and you'd still save the planet. Like you're still saving something. It's still better than not using cloth nappies at all. So my goal to myself was I bought two cloth nappies to start with and I thought if I use one a day, then I save 365 nappies a year from going into landfill. And that over time, I would build up really, really gradually. And that's how I've done it. And to be honest, as soon as I had those two nappies and I got in my zone with doing them, I realized it's really easy. But because I felt like it was all or nothing, I never made that move to start. And that is where I made a mistake. So the rest of my story is that Pearl is still in nappies and she is in cloth most of the time. So we are now up to like 80% maybe, but she still has disposables for night times and for long days out or long trips in the car or things like that. Um, and I've also switched to reusable wipes in the house. So I'm still using disposable wipes outside of the house. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not perfect and I'm not pretending to be either, but I feel like the switches that I have made, which are for environmental reason, like that is my reason for doing it, is I wanted to try and cut down on plastic use but I'm definitely not perfect. But all the time that we're doing this, we are changing things and gradually we'll get there. So, you know, I just really, really wanna make this a video that says to everyone, like, don't beat yourself up if you use a disposable or a wipe or, you know, your methods aren't perfect. Like, if you're doing something, that is helping. So, okay. Anyway, I will tell you all about the nappies that we are using. So this is our current nappy setup. So I have a basket that I keep in our living room and I keep it accessible so I can easily grab a nappy when it's time for a nappy change. And uh, just a little disclosure that I have been sent a few of these nappies, um, plus I've bought some myself new 
and I have bought some secondhand. So my stash is a complete mix, um, and yeah, I think using secondhand is a really great way um, to up your stash. They are quite expensive new, and they sell on really well, so don't be afraid to buy secondhand, you can just wash them. So the two main brands that we use at the moment are the Bambino Mio, or Bambino Mayo, I don't know how you say it, which are these ones, and they are an all-in-one nappy, and these, which are tickle tots, and they are also an all-in-one nappy. So the name all-in-one nappy really drew me to buying those ones because obviously it sounds super simple. You've got everything there, and I'd say as a beginner, that is definitely the best way to start. Plus, I mean, the designs are amazingly cute. So I'd say that they're quite similar. I'll just go through a few features on each one that I really like and um, why we use these two brands. So firstly, these are the Bambino Mios and we've got this one, we've got a cute one that's got snails on, we've got one here that's got ladybirds and another one with rainbows and then I think we've got a couple more, oh hang on, nope. One more with stripes and we've got a couple more but they are in the wash at the moment. So you can see they're super, super colourful. And I'll just give you a little tour of the nappy. So to put it on, it's all Velcro so it's really easy to fit. One thing I'd say is that I wish that I'd started cloth nappies with Pearl before she was wriggling and moving around because getting used to putting them on a walking baby is much harder than getting used to putting them on a baby that's lying down so that is one thing but I mean I just do my best I just quickly whip it on and hope for the best and we've been fine so far so I think like the fit as long as it's comfortable for them and it's not leaking that's it like you've got it right I worried too much about the fit but whack it on honestly it would be fine um so then you've got the poppers which if you've got a smaller baby you can do those up and make it smaller but I have them on the biggest setting as Pearl is over one now and she's quite sort of chunky so I set all my nappies up in advance so I've already put a liner in um, so inside you can see it's really really soft and the Bambino have these which is really really handy I'll show you it is a loop which means you can just pull the inside out really easily so this is the booster inside that comes actually attached to the nappy. So it doesn't come apart, you won't lose this part, and this is the bit that's gonna absorb all the wee, basically. And it comes with these loops so that you can pull it out. And then, just to make things really easy, they've got this kind of pocket here, kind of looks, yeah, it's kind of like an oven glove, isn't it? And what you do is you just get your hand and you can just jam it down into the nappy, like this, the liner back in, which is by far the easiest nappy to do that, to put those in. And then, because Pearl is quite a, a heavy wetter, I suppose, I don't know if she is, but she's over one, um, I use another booster, which I bought separately. Um, you can just buy packs of these, they're really easy, and I just put it in the same way. So that's that one. I'll tell you a little bit about the Tickle Tots. So they're very similar, but actually I'd say that the sizing of the Tickle Tots fits Pearl a lot better. So they're just a little bit smaller and a little bit more delicate. So I'd say for a smaller baby, these might be a better place to start. It's definitely more streamlined and it's a bit softer as well. So if she was younger, I definitely would have aimed for these first. So the print is really cute. It's got little trees on it, and inside it is the same, basically, apart from it doesn't have um, the, the tabs to pull the insert out. It is just, um, it's just flat, basically, but it's fine. It's just a little bit more fiddly, but it is really, really super soft and absorbent. So this one, the liner inside is made of bamboo, which is really, really absorbent. So the Bambino Mios are made of microfiber, which dries quickly, but it doesn't absorb as much. So you always need a booster. But with this one, it's bamboo. It takes a bit longer to dry. It's a bit softer, but it's a bit more absorbent. So they're the two brands. I really, really like both. So I'm really pleased with having both in our stash. 
So another thing in our nappy box are these. They are the Mio liners or nappy liners and they look like this. So they look a bit like tissues. Oh, I think I've got two, there we go. So that's one. So you just place them inside the nappy when you are changing the nappy and that is for catching the poo. So I asked a few people on Instagram what would be the main thing you would like to know about cloth nappies and the resounding question that everyone asks, and I guess this is what puts a lot of people off, is what do you do with the poo? So what we do is, so the liner goes in and collects said number two and you can just pick it up and either put put it down the toilet, not, not with this, but just drop the waste down the toilet or you can just fold these up with it inside and put it in the bin or a nappy bin or however you choose to dispose of other waste like if you were using disposable nappies, that kind of thing. So that's how you deal with it. Um, if there's any particularly bad um, number two that actually goes on the nappy, I have given it a rinse um, tried to get off in the toilet and then rinsed it before putting it in the wash. Um, I have got special washing up gloves for that occasion, uh, but it has rarely happened. This has always saved me so far. I think I've done that once or twice. So it's really not that bad. I think people have visions of it being horrific, but it, the times that it has happened have been fine. Like it's not been that bad. So just talking about boosters, they come in all different materials. We have gone for bamboo boosters as basically I googled it and they are one of the most absorbent. So we went with that and we've been finding them really good so far. So we've got this, this is our Tickle Tots one. As you can see with the Tickle Tots one, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is really, really soft. So this is one that I bought that's also bamboo and it's quite um, textured but that one's very soft. Um, you can see that Tickle Tots just generally just lovely material. And that one is a bit more robust. But yeah, so just get a stack of those and then you can add them in. Some people even put two extra ones into a nappy, maybe if they were putting it overnight, but it does exactly what it says in the tin. So it's a booster. It boosts the absorbency of the nappy. So one of the last things I wanted to show you was my other basket, which are reusable wipes. So I'm pretty new to using reusable wipes, but I'm finding them so, so handy. I have no idea what I was doing or why I haven't done this sooner, as it's really easy. But I got really carried away with thinking I needed lunch boxes and like a wet box and a mucky box and a this and a that, but I really don't. I've just got a basket, they are dry, they don't have any water on at the moment. So we've got I've got a little system, it's pink for bottoms, white for faces. So all I do is when I go to change their nappies, I just take one of these and I quickly go to the bathroom, which is right next to our living room, so it's really easy, and just wet it, that's it. And then I use it and I pop it in the washing machine straight away. And that's all really. I don't prepare any boxes ahead of time because I don't know how many I'm gonna use in a day and I didn't want them sitting there wet and getting a bit musty and like, yeah, basically I just keep them dry, wet them, use them. Uh, when they're eating, I wet a couple before they start eating, have them on the side, wipe their faces when they're done. One wipe will do like all of their face, their hands, everything. When before I was using disposable wipes and using like four or five wipes to get, you know, like a mucky pasta sauce or something, and we can just use one of those, it goes in the washing machine. And then I try and hang them out in the sun as the sun will bleach all of the stains out. So these have been used, this one is a bit more used looking, and they are still white, like, the sun takes all the marks out, even if there's marks when they come out of the washing machine. Same with nappies, you can put them in the sun to get rid of all the marks. So that is reusable wipes. Uh, so far I haven't gone out of the house with them, I am using disposable wipes out of the house, but I am going to pack a few of these in my change bag and if I'm in a toilet or something or somewhere with water, I could just do the same and wet them. So I definitely suggest that as a method um, for starting out with reusable wipes, but I know lots of people have systems with wetting them and boxes and stuff, but I'm more of a simple basket girl.
Okay, so I think the last part of this video is about how I wash our nappies. So I have this absolutely gorgeous wet bag. It is from Tickle Tots, it's here. And annoyingly, it's actually in the wash, but it does have a mesh liner inside, which is a laundry bag that you just take out. So you put your dirty nappies, when they're used, you just put them in the wet bag like this. Although I do actually like to, before, before washing them, I unclip all of it and I fold these bits over. So that's the Velcro and you can just stick them together like this. And that just means that it's not going to snag on anything, so it's not going to catch the other nappies or pull at the fabric. And then I do pull all of the liners out like this before I put them in the wet bag. I just fold it over and I shove it in the wet bag. And then every kind of, I don't know, I put every time I put a wash on, I don't have a set pattern, uh, every two days maybe, I just get the wet bag and I unpop the mesh bag, which annoyingly is in the wash, and I just pop it in the washing machine, and that's it. So just going on to, to using the washing machine, so as I don't cloth nappy full time, I don't have enough nappies to justify setting the washing machine up to just wash nappies and wipes. So I do add our nappies to a clothing wash, which I know can be controversial, but what I do to make sure that our clothes aren't going around with um, you know, the, the contents of a nappy, is that I put the wet bag contents into the washing machine on its own, first of all. That includes all the nappies, all the wipes, all the boosters, and the wet bag. I wash the wet bag as well. And I put it onto a rinse cycle. Our rinse cycle also includes a soak. So I put it onto soak, it soaks for about half an hour and then I finish the rinse cycle. Then I add in all of the rest of our clothes into the washing machine. So the nappies are fully rinsed, they've had a really good soak, they've had a rinse and then I add the clothes. And then I obviously add our laundry detergent. So I've been using um, Ariel Original, obviously not sponsored not add or gifted other brands available. This is just what we use. Um, so we use the Aerial Powder for our wash. Um, I have heard that using a powder in your wash is best for cloth nappies. So we've been sticking with that and it does work really well. This is one of the best washing powders I've used in a long time. We've been using really sensitive um, non-bio for baby clothes since before Violet was born. So switching to this has been a bit of a change for us. Um, but it is working really well with the nappies. So that's just that. Um, I think the only thing you need to worry about with detergents is that you don't use anything that has a fabric softener in it because it can uh, lessen the absorbency of the nappy. And the other thing that I add to every wash that includes nappies is some laundry cleanser. So this is the Dettol laundry cleanser and that is insensitive. So you can see that. Um, so yeah, I just add a couple of capfuls of Dettol as well to give them a good old blitz. So drying nappies is one of the very last things I want to talk about. So the best thing to do with cloth nappies is to dry them outside. We do have a garden, so that's really handy, obviously, for drying them outside. But I know obviously hanging in England, hanging washing outside isn't always possible or you might live in a flat. So what we do is we do have a heated air dryer. And I know that lots of people are going to be going <gasps> because you're not actually meant to put your cloth nappies on um, a heated um, drying rack or radiator or source of heat or anything. But I have found a little hack that I think works really well is that I turn the heated air dryer on and I hang all our washing on it and the boosters, they're fine to go on the heated rails, but the actual nappy, so you don't want to get the plastic part of the nappy or any of the plastic that is on this uh, Velcro to touch the heat as it can um, start to damage or wear away at your nappy. So what I do is I actually put a sheet over the heated air dryer and then I put my nappies on the top of that. So that the rails are not that hot but it's still getting warm-ish air coming up through uh, the dryer and the nappies do dry quicker than if they were on just a standard 
um, rack, basically. So that is my way of using my heated air dryer without touching the plastic on anything. Otherwise, you can just use a normal clothes drying rack type thing and hang them up. They do take a little while to dry, but these ones especially, these are the Bambino Mios, because they're microfiber, they do dry much quicker. So it's really not that bad. I'd say they dry in about 24 hours or even less than that, probably. So I hope you enjoyed my overview of cloth nappies and it was helpful. I really, really just want to reiterate that switching to cloth nappies is really not that hard. I wish that I'd done it a long time ago and it doesn't have to be all or nothing. If you want to be like me and just use half and half, even if you use one nappy a day, you're still saving 365 nappies from landfill. You're saving money on buying 365 nappies a year. So that's pretty much amazing in itself. And then the more you do, the better. So there really isn't the need to kind of feel like You'd be a bad cloth bum mum if you used a wipe or if you used a disposable now and again, just do a bit or try them. And if I can be of any help in any way, please do drop me a line as I love chatting about it. I'm definitely not an expert. I don't know my pop-ins from my all-in-one. I just got the ones that I use and we just do the best we can. And we haven't had any leaks or any crazy accidents so far, so I think we're doing okay. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting once a week, parenting stuff just like this, or days out, our family life. We're a two mum family with two girls. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.